Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today and I have some LEGO patents to review. These patents are from ETSY from a store called Frame A Patent. As you can see, this is the LEGO patent and you can get them in multiple different colors. But they also have many different non-LEGO patents for sale. The two colors of the patents I'm reviewing today are the chalkboard colors. The first patent I'm going to show you is the minifigure patent. There's five different figures of the minifigures. It says US patent. It has the date December 18th, 1979, sheet 1 of 2, and DES 253,711, whatever that means. Figure 1 is what our minifigure looks like today. It's the very front of the minifigure. As you can see, it's got the pants, a torso, and a head. No printing or hair because that was like Al added on later. Figure 2 shows the side of each minifigure. Figure 3 illustrates the back of the patent, and as you can see, the little studs they've chosen there and how the minifigures behind is going to look. Figure 4 and figure 5 show the minifigures upside down and from looking at the top. Next pattern I'm going to show you is the 2x4 brick pattern. So this one actually looks a little bit more complicated than the minifigure one. It was just that minifigure one would look straight up, but this one's got all sorts of numbers. I'm not really sure what these numbers represent. Maybe they're measurements, maybe they're not. Comment below if you know. This patent also has the date on it. This date is a little different though. This one says October 24th, 1961. It has Old Kirk's name on it as well as the fill, July 28th, 1958. And on the side it's got another number and it says 3005282. Again, don't know what number that is. Figure 1 is like the 2x4 brick minus the sides. This picture is just showing you the studs that go down each brick. They just don't show you the sides of the brick. Figure 2 is the underside of the brick. This time they do include the sides and you can see what the studs look like when you look up. You can also see the little notches where the actual studs are. Figure 3 is a picture of what the brick looks like with this knot. The studs not on top. But it looks like it's just rested on a table showing everything. And the sides are like, like kind of there but not kind of there just to show the tubes on the inside. Figure 4 has the two bricks put on top of each other to demonstrate like the clutch power of the brick. Figure 5 is the exact same as figure 4 except these bricks are on their sides and again the sides are like kind of half there to show the clutch power and how the little tubes, I can't remember the name of them, work. Finally the last figure on the patent is the 2x4 bricks on top of each other all the way but staggered and it just shows and you basically can see how it looks. Finally on the very bottom here it does have the inventor's name again and then it's got a signature from the attorney's office. There is nothing on the back of each patent, it is just a plain white paper, but of course on the front is this chalkboard paper, which is really cool because it looks like these were drawn on the chalkboard. These are some really cool patents and I can't wait to hang these up in my LEGO room. They're really, really neat and it's neat to feel like you have some piece of LEGO history. Despite them obviously not being official and the real LEGO patents, like the ones that they actually submitted and stuff, they're still really cool and I'm glad to have them in my LEGO collection. And of course, if you're interested in buying these patents, you can head on over to ETSY and check out Frame a Patent with their LEGO patents and a variety of other different patents. Thanks everybody for watching. You'll have to let me know down below what you think of these patents. Thanks everybody for watching and check the cards for my other videos.